abuse. So, this is Moya. Moya is about a year and a half old. You know, this is, to me, a very impressive cat. Um, you can see some of the, the features. Obviously, you guys in the back can see the uh, black eyeliners around his eyes. If you think of sports or athletes over in Africa, think of really flat planes, really bright and hot sun. So that's primarily why you see those, those eyes. This is a cat that is a runner. They're not going to get up, you know, run miles like that. But they're going to run basically to catch their prey. Um, what I always tell people is think of scary cats. Cheetahs are what we, call, we would call flight cats. They're not a cat that's going to stand its ground and protect itself like a lion or tiger would. So if a lion and tiger is spooked in the wild, they're going to hunker down and they're going to go to battle. A cheetah is going to say, uh-uh, see ya, and take off running. So Moya may be upset or nervous, that type of thing, when he's not with those animals. So a lot of times we'll travel with the dog. Now the dog that is raised with him is down um, in Texas with Jacob, who's in another one of uh, Moya's roommates there. You guys up front, can you oh, see the yeah. white? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You guys hear that? Yeah. yeah. So, as I stop at my table, as long as we hear that, everything's fine. <laughs> if that goes away, then I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> but the purring is an amazing thing to hear on a cat, and the majority of the people who hear it for the first time think it's gravel because it is so loud. But this is the largest of your lesser cats. So, when I say lesser cat, think of your house cats. So, a cheetah, though much bigger than your own house cat, is more closely related to your house cat than he is a lion or a tiger because of that purring right there.